as a country, you know, how important is the space program for defense? The world has been talking about it, but it has been demonstrated very well in the recent some of the conflicts. It has a potential to scale up significantly. One or two of the studies which are recently done on domains of space applications. It is very surprising to see more than 50% of the space-based applications will be in defense. It changes the entire narrative of the economy of space system. This is going to expand substantially in the coming days. New technologies are coming to come. For example, they can have powerful lasers, which can be fired against the missile, which is coming from a satellite to kill a missile, not from a ground. Then the next issue is you have to protect your own satellites because the satellites are also a war equipment now. Then somebody also will put satellites of similar in nature. So they will fight each other in the satellite regime. Full Star Wars. As ISRO chairman, who would you look at? Uh, would Elon Musk, SpaceX, uh, NASA, who would you look at for learning curve, for uh, benchmarking? We are very unique and no one to compare. For this much of money and this much of resources and knowledge, can you do the outcome of uh, this class? I think it is very difficult. Once we do missions to Moon, missions to Mars, you know, all this creates you know, within the minds of young people. Yeah, here is one country which you thought will not do such high-tech work. <laughs> capable of doing it and demonstrating. I think that has changed the entire narrative now. I think people feel inspired by the work which you do in Israel.